Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show tonight. I'm very... Right here just keeps shooting you with a Ghostbusters ray. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to make you feel good. I don't understand any of it. Uh, Peter Capaldi, thank you so much for being here and entering with such a terrible special effect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it. I, I travel with my own dry ice these yeah, days. Yeah, very nice. I just like some fog and clearly ropes pulling, <laughs> pulling you in. Uh, is this, am I correct? This is your first Comic Con, is that right? My very first Comic Con. Wow. Tell us about it. How is it? What's your experience been like? Well, everyone kept saying to me, are you nervous? Are you nervous? Making me more nervous. Right. As the day of the panel approached. And uh, we were in the, the hotel for two days uh, doing press. And the security people kept saying, you can't go out onto the street. You can't go out there because you'll get mobbed. And I was like, come on, guys, put yourself in my shoes. You know, I play this iconic character uh, that uh, yeah. people love. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't you walk down the street? Yes. You played that character? Oh, exactly. What's yeah. the, you want to own it. You're Doctor yeah. Who. Get out there. So you walk down the street and, like, nobody comes. <laughs> 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 One little kid comes up, and then gradually another person comes, and another person comes. Yeah. And before I know it, I'm down at the uh, convention center. Yeah. And, uh, at the line. You know, and there were so many uh, wonderful people there. Uh, really kind of, you know. I felt... I felt like running for office afterwards. Yeah, you know what? What's interesting is you grew up a Doctor Who fan. The yeah. show has been on for you know fifty years. Fifty years. Yeah. You grew up a Doctor Who fan. Now you are playing Doctor Who. Yeah. Sometimes on the set you have to feel like it's a dream almost, a childhood dream. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, as a child, you know, I, I wrote to Doctor Who. I got letters back from the original Doctor Who's. You know, I, I drew pictures and sent them to the BBC. I got a letter published in the equivalent of TV Guide right. saying how much. What is really embarrassing, though, is that now they dig up all this stuff. <laughs> and you know, if you, you don't really want to hear what your 14 year old self has to say yeah. about things, but. Uh, um, Especially if they don't explain you wrote it as a 14 year old. That's right, yes. <laughs> Peter Capaldi said, Me like Doctor Who. That's right, <laughs> like, yes. Uh, uh, you know what? It's interesting. Different actors take a different approach to Doctor Who. Some people think that your take has been to be a little more grumpy. Yeah. Fair to say? Yeah. Well, he's two and a half thousand years old. He's been around, you yeah. know, and, and uh, uh, life is tough, business as usual. Yeah. Uh, but he loves... The great thing about Doctor Who, I think, is, that, is he's actually full of joy because he loves time and space and the universe. You know, he can find beauty in the simplest of things. He can sit in the supermarket car park you know, and watch the sun coming up and think that's the most amazing thing, or see stars being born in Alpha Centauri. Right. He's right. just incredible.